This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. And ABC 10 News Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti back with us and we're bouncing all over the place this mm -hmm. week. Yeah, we are. Thanksgiving week uh, definitely going to be chaotic mm -hmm. as far as our temperatures are concerned. Uh, we've definitely felt a warm start to this week. Dry and windy as well. And that's going to be the story uh, really today and then lingering into tomorrow. Then we're going to see a major cool down heading our way Tuesday. Cooler temperatures sticking around, but then just in time for Thanksgiving giving get ready for another warm up heading our way. So humidities right now we have some areas that are truly just bone dry. Fallbrook 15%, Carlsbad 16%, El Cajon just 12% humidity right now. Ramona at 16%. When you get into these teens and in those single digits, that's when we're in that dangerous bone dry uh, territory and that's when we have that fire risk, especially when you pair that with these gusty winds that we're seeing right now and they're going to linger into this evening, even into overnight, calming down a tiny bit, but as we head into tomorrow morning, we can see 9:30 am still going to feel those uh, gusty winds in places like Escondido, Ramona, Campo calming down then as we head into tomorrow. But this is a Santa Ana wind event and so uh, these are dry warm winds uh, pulling from the east toward the west. Highs for tomorrow going to stay warm. So pretty similar to what we felt today, just a touch cooler but still going to be warmer than normal. So we are talking about some 80s for our coastal areas. Oceanside does look to get up to 84, San Diego 81 degrees, upper 70s for most of our coastal areas. But as we push inland, uh, Ramona hitting that 80 degree mark, but Escondido, uh, Poway, El Cajon, all looking to get into those mid 80s, 60s and 70s for our mountains, and then 80s for our desert communities for tomorrow. So yet another day tomorrow, winds tapering off a tiny bit. Through the day tomorrow, we're going to see a little bit of some passing cloud coverage. Uh, not too bad though, but then as we head into Tuesday morning, we're going to introduce the very slightest chance for rain. I'm thinking not anything measurable, maybe some hundreds for our mountains, maybe some drizzle for our coastal areas, but if you see a couple raindrops, count them. That's all you'll be able to do. Uh, all you'll be able to see because uh, they're going to be slight rain chances. That's going to be Tuesday into Wednesday morning. Coastal areas, like I said, roller coaster of a week. Warm tomorrow, a big cool down into Tuesday. Cooler temperatures linger into Wednesday. Then as we head into Thanksgiving, we jump right back up. Thursday and Friday looking warm. 77, 78 for our coastal areas. Staying in those mid 70s as we head into the weekend. For our inland areas, another roller coaster. 87 tomorrow. 70s, big cool down Tuesday into Wednesday. Warming right back up for Thanksgiving. Staying in those 80s as we round out the week. Mountains not as drastic of, of fluctuation, but we are going to see that a similar trend. 50s as we head into Thanksgiving. 60s by next weekend. Deserts. 80s to start out the week and we're actually going to stay mostly in those uh, 80s throughout the week. So uh, get ready for some passing clouds and warmer and then cooler and then warmer and then cooler. So yeah, all over the place. Like right. Keeping you on your toes. Ping pong tournament. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Leah. <laughs>